Hello curl friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jody, and it's great to have you join me today. Special welcome if you are new here. I do try to post curly hair content every Friday. This is not Friday, I'm pretty sure by the time I'm posting this, but that's because this is one of my special videos that I try to do quarterly and it's called What's New in the Curly World, where I bring you products that have come out in the last quarter or approximately in the last quarter. Sometimes there's a little backtracking, like I do have this video. But anyways, I try to bring you new products, just like introduce them to you if you haven't seen them, and just give you my take on them, whether I feel like I'm interested in purchasing them, or if I'm going to pass, or maybe if I just want your opinion on maybe what I should do. So without further ado, uh, let's dive into it. I have a long list, I will say, so grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a snack if you need to, and let's get into all these new products. For starters, we have the AG Curl Fresh Definer. Now this is not a new product, but they have reformulated it and just came out with it. So they actually sent this to me. And so I'm, I'm very happy, very flattered. And I did try that out on my hair last night. I, I just washed my hair yesterday. So this is a little less than 24 hours, but this is the only product that I have in my hair or the only styler, unless you count hairspray. I have hairspray in my hair as well. But uh, this is what my curls are looking like. I think pretty good for being a single styler. I do have some wonky bits in here, but not bad. So it's clumping my curls well. It's keeping the frizz pretty minimal. I do have a little bit up here, but that's nothing uncommon for me. So this is typically one of those single stylers though that I prefer to wear underneath like a gel. But I should highlight that this new formulation is mainly just the consistency and the scent is what they focused on that I'm aware of. So I have my old packaging here. And if you listen to this, she is very liquidy. I hope you can hear that. I hope that translates on the mic. I could pour it out, but I don't have any paper towels or anything to wipe my hands with right here. Um, so I'm just, I'm not going to do that. I don't feel like getting up and getting it. But this is a much more regular cream consistency. Like I said, I used it. It wasn't messy at all and totally enjoyed it. Now for the rest of these products, I will be looking either off of a list that I have or my phone just to try to give you a better idea as we're going through them just to get a better understanding of the products. So I am also going to try to go in order of when these products were released, but I am also categorizing them as best as I can based on um, the brand. So I hope that makes sense and let's just get into this. The first brand that I have are a couple items. It's Trey Lux. First, they came out with a new satin pillowcase, and I think it's gorgeous. I think it's beautiful. I personally don't have a satin pillowcase, and I'm okay with that, but if I did choose to choose a satin pillowcase, this would be one that I'd highly consider. I just don't see my husband really liking a satin pillowcase, and so I kind of want to match, so we're just not going down that route. I use a satin bonnet, and that's good enough for me. Anyways, they also have a soothe, part of their Soothe and Restore line, they have a new restorative protein mask. And I will apologize, this product is kind of, I'm backtracking with this one a little bit. I don't know how I missed it, but I think it came out in like November time. And I had mentioned in my last What's New With Me that there was a new release, but I'm like, it's just a hair diffuser that was seemed anticlimactic to me. But I think somehow I missed this one. And so it says it's supposed to, Add strength and structure to straggly strands, improve the color and vibrance of overall stressed strands, and coat and reinforce brittle and thinning hair, and increase strand by strand moisture uptake for bounce back and curl resilience. Sounds great, um, but my problem is, is that this retails for $28, and I just feel like Trelux, their original products were what I would consider on the medium to high end. Some of them varied a bit, but this one is getting up there like getting pretty high end to me personally what i feel comfortable buying for hair products and so while i am interested in it i don't really see myself picking it up unless trey Lux feels very kind and wants and generous and wants to send it to me so i would be happy to try it out then otherwise unless you guys really want to see it i don't really see myself picking this one up Next, there are a couple of things from Sultanicals. First, they have their Bloom collection, which is like a newer collection. And this kind of confusing to me because they have like a, a kit, I would say, in their collection. And then they also have some individual products and some of them seem to overlap and some of them seem to be different. So as far as I can tell, there is a cleanser, a deep conditioner, a like palmate type balm 
and a butter and an oil. And then some of the other items that aren't part of the kit look like there is a poo bar, like a shampoo bar, and a hair mist. The only item I can really see myself interested in is, well, first of all, this Bloom collection is supposed to focus on nourishing and optimizing hair health and promoting hair growth. The only product that I'm really slightly interested in is the Bloom Healthy Hair Growth Deep Conditioner. And I just, I think it sounds like a balancing moisture, strengthening deep conditioner. And that's why I kind of have a little bit of interest. But do I see myself picking it up anytime in the near future? Probably not. Next, Sultanicals, I'm going to mention their seasonal items and for the winter. And these are already out of stock. So, I mean, you can't do anything about it if you really wanted to miss your opportunity. They had the Miss Frosty Deep Repairing Frostulizer. I was going to say moisturizer, but I realized it said frostulizer. They had the Frozen Mint Cold Mold Super Hold Gel. And then they had a Straight Butter Heavy Sealing Butter and a Wintergreen Conditioning Supreme. So their play on the words just, it gets me every time. But I was interested in the deep conditioner and the gel and the Wintergreen Curl Supreme or Wintergreen Conditioning Supreme, sorry. I was really interested in those when they first came out and I was so close to purchasing them. But I told myself, no, hold off, hold off. This is what I tell myself to try to just keep from buying everything. And usually it works pretty good for me. I mean, I exercise some self-control after I tell myself to hold off for a while. And then before long, you know, Sultanicals just doesn't have them in stock anymore. So it worked out in a sense. So I don't know how they work. I am interested in those. I know they have brought back that deep conditioner, it seems like every year for the years that I've been tracking it. But the gel and the uh, wintergreen conditioning supreme were kind of newer, I do believe. I hadn't seen them before. And then the last product from Sultanicals that they brought out is the Aquatanicals. They're adding to this collection, it seems like staggered like, but the Aquatanicals Bush Mango Hydro Grow Deep Conditioner. And I don't know, I, it's a thickening hair mask it says, but I don't remember too much about it. hydrating fruits. I believe the Aquatanicals line is supposed to really focus on hydrating the hair, hence aqua water, but I'm, I'm probably not going to get this one. I'll just pass. So next, Not Your Mother's has brought out a different line or a new line and it's called the Balancing Act. And in that they have an exfoliator, they have a shampoo, and then they also have a scalp serum. So I would be interested, I'm always looking for more affordable scalp scrubs and or scalp exfoliators. I really like the Curl Smith scalp scrub, but I'm always looking for a more affordable option. I think a year or two ago, I had tried, I think it was last year maybe, I had tried the Texture ID scalp scrub and was thoroughly unimpressed, but this would be one that I would be interested in trying out. Have any of you actually tried it? Let me know what your thoughts are if you have or if you're interested in it. I'm just curious if there's an interest in this one. So moving on to the next one, also having to deal with scalp. It is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Rosemary Pre-Wash Oil. And somebody else commented this about the Scalp Revival line and I agree with them. But essentially what they said is, I just feel like the Scalp Revival line has just, it keeps going and going and going. I feel like it's redundant. I feel like it's kind of overkill. And they probably said that a lot more eloquently and not so many words, but essentially you get the idea. And I just, I don't know. I've lost interest in the Scalp Revival line from Briogeo. Next, The Dew has come out with several different new releases and one of them is the press play system and there are seven products I believe in this and you can buy them individually or you can buy them in like different sets and this is more for I believe like if you're straightening your hair and I'm just personally not really interested in this although I have had really not great experiences with straightening my hair more recently so uh, maybe I should be trying something different, but this is probably not what I'm going to gravitate towards. I am interested in doing a video on the do in the future. And so some of these other items though that they did bring out are ones that I am potentially considering. They have uh, the Breakdown Clarifying Shampoo. And so I always love a good clar clarifying shampoo or looking into those. And so I'm potentially interested in that. And then they have a Dear Mama Moisture Milk. I have not had great success with moisture milks, to me, they're just too heavy to apply as like a leave-in or a cream. 
They just usually leave my hair feeling gunky and weighed down and I don't really refresh my hair with moisture milk so I don't see myself really picking that one up. And then they have an 808 base gel and this says it's for juicy shiny curls that crave extra length and reach for the 808 base gel. This medium hold gel serves as a base layer locking in long lasting frizz protection, definition, and balance. Excellent for wash and goes, twist outs, and TWAs. I'm a little confused when it says a base. Usually I use my gel as like the last step or sometimes I'll add a mousse or foam on top of a gel, but I, unless I'm doing like a gel as a single styler, I never use that as my base. Usually there's like a cream or a leave-in. So I'm a little confused by that. And it does say for curls that crave extra length. So I'm thinking that they feel like this is a more of elongating gel, which is not really something I'm looking for. I've never tried any of their gels. So they have the Big Papa gel, I think, and like the Sexy Curly Custard, something like that. I, I know I screwed that last name up. But um, I'll probably reach for one of those before I would try this 808. Next from Eva NYC, they have a new line called H2O, and there are four products in here, I believe. It looks like a shampoo, a conditioner, there is a leave-in conditioner, and a hydrating scalp serum. It says, the science of skincare equals the hair of your dreams. These multitasking hydrating products are packed with the best ingredients from your skincare routine, like hyaluronic acid, violet rice water, to hydrate and balance and leave, your, leave you with healthy, with shiny, healthy looking hair. It's clinically proven for 48 hour hydration and experience the ultimate moisturization that will leave you saying, whoa. Um, I don't usually crave a whole lot of moisture for my hair. I will say over the last couple months, I have noticed my hair has been craving a little bit more moisture, which is kind of leaving me a little like shocked. I don't know if it's like changing hormones or something like that, could be. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really excited about this brand or this line. I have said I wanted to try Eva NYC, but I realized they're not quite on the affordable drugstore limit that I like to have under that $10 mark. And they don't, in my opinion, really have any like final stylers in their product, like a gel or a mousse or foam at least. So I kind of pulled back from that idea. And this, like I said, this line just doesn't really excite me. I know Mains by Mel has promoted this brand in this line and seems to like it. So let me know if you are interested in this line at all. Another brand that I have not tried is African Pride and they have a new Feel It formula. I am kind of questioning if I remember correctly that this one might have actually technically been like an older release one, the one that happened in the fourth quarter of 2023. I could be wrong about that one. But here I am introducing it to you now. They have a strengthening shampoo, they have a strengthening mask, a strengthening balm, and then also a strengthening oil. The only one I'm really interested possibly in is the strengthening mask, but I don't know. If I do an African Pride video sometime, I don't have these products locally to me, at least not in the stores that I tend to shop at. I don't really think I have them locally. Um, but anyways, if I do tend to, or if I do choose to do one of these videos, I might incorporate this strengthening mask as part of that, like a full wash day routine. Or, you know, how I do, I usually do a full wash day routine and oftentimes I'll do a mask the following week or the week prior. So we'll see how I do it. And I'm not, I'm not guaranteeing anything, but I'm just saying basically the strengthening mask is the one I am potentially the most interested in, but it's not anything that's, I'm rushing out to get. Next up on the list is Pattern Beauty and they have had a newer line come out, the Palo Santo Ensemble. I might have butchered that a little bit but I think one of these products in this line there are four products currently as I'm filming this I think one of these products has actually already been out for a while and I think that might be the medium conditioner but I believe the mousse and the styling cream and the leave-in conditioner are newer products on there and I am actually being beginning to be more interested in trying out Pattern Beauty. I don't know. I'm certain it won't be this year of 2024, but maybe the next year. Maybe not. We'll see what sales are, are happening on Black Friday time. But I am possibly considering right now at this time, I would probably lean a little bit more towards the mousse out of all these products. In my head, I guess I just kind of worry that uh, Pattern Beauty might be a little too heavy, a little too moisturizing for my curls. 
I could be wrong. In like the regular set of products, I think they have different levels, like a maybe a light and a heavier hold or a light or heavier moisture. I think they have that. It's been a while since I looked that up. But yeah, I'm I'm potentially considering it. I like the packaging. I think it's very pretty. So for this Palo Santo line, I don't really care for the packaging of the other one, but that's besides the point. As long as the product works, that's the main part, right? That's the most important thing. Next up for new products is Innersense I Create Curl Memory. And this one is targeted, I believe, for hydrating. It says, a hydrating styling gel that provides flexible hold and long-lasting curls. Create touchable, long-lasting curls with a flexible styling jelly that smooths and hydrates and holds in a single step. This nourishing formula it features bamboo extract, sugar complex, and certified organic aloe vera to provide curl memory, improve manageability, and boost moisture. So I am definitely interested in this. This kind of sounds like just the way they describe it and the way I've seen a few reviews on it, it kind of almost seems like on the verge of being a custard type gel compared to their original one. And I can't remember what their original gel is. It's, is it I Create Hold? It might be I Create Hold. I'm not 100% sure. I will say I am definitely really getting excited about trying the Innersense brand. I kind of, I'm not sure I'm going to get in in 2023. I'm hoping I can but I'm not entirely sure. I might just wait and pick it up during Black Friday, hoping that they have like some good sales then and start with it early in 2025. Did I say 2023 referring to this year? I meant 2024, I'm messing up my years. But anyways, I might squeeze it in at the end of this year, 2024, or I might push it back to hopefully like the beginning of next year, but I am really anxious to be trying this brand here soon. And the Curl Memory is one of those that I'm interested in. I'm interested in a lot of their products, I will say. I am very interested in a lot of their products. The problem is they are more expensive. So I'm looking for a couple of things. I'm looking to try travel sizes and I feel like I have to even limit my travel sizes because like I said, there's so much that I wanna try. And if it works out great, really well for me, you know, then maybe I can continue to, you know, expand what I'm trying from that brand but I think I need to be selective. But this is still one of those that's in the potential lineup for me to try. Next up is from Miche. It's one of their limited edition and it's the Strawberry Champagne. And they have brought this out before. I'm not quite sure when this limited edition one ends, but at the time that I'm filming, which is the end of March, it's still available. So they have the whole set, you can buy the whole set or you, you can buy the just the anti-humidity firm hold gel or the hair mask or they have a refresher spray or a moisturizing shampoo. So basically a wash day lineup that all the things that you would need. I am not really interested in this one simply because I think the firm hold gel would be the one that I'd be most interested in and I already have their Tropical Oasis gel which will be coming out in a video this summer. I'm waiting for like the full heat and humidity to really kick in and see how well that one does. But anyways, so yeah, I'm not really interested in this but it is still available if you guys are interested, like I said, at the time that I'm filming this. Next up is Bread Beauty and I will say, I was initially I wasn't interested in this brand really because to me they just didn't have a solid holding product they just had their curl cream initially and I mean they had the shampoo and conditioner but they had the curl cream as their main styler and to me that just wasn't enough but they've come out with more stylers since I mean their gel is not exactly new but the products that are newer are they have a what is this called it's called a clear wash which is a clarifying shampoo and I'm interested in that. And then they have a conditioner to go with it. It's called the Baby Soft Hydrating Ceramide Conditioner. And so those strike my interest more than the original shampoo and conditioner because I think the original shampoo is more of like a co-wash and that's just, that's not going to really do it for my hair on a regular wash day. And now they've also added a hair foam as well. So I wish this brand had these in travel sizes. I don't believe they do. I'm just checking here. Yeah, I... I don't see this available in travel sizes. So that's a bit unfortunate, but I am becoming more interested in this. I feel like I'm becoming interested in a lot of more expensive brands for reviewing in the next year. And I really need to watch that because I know my audience, while they may enjoy, you know, seeing me, seeing different products, they also, you guys are also really interested in products that you're more likely to purchase. And that's not always the case for those, these expensive ones. So 
I need to watch that. I always like to bring affordable options and I'm rambling now at this point. I don't want to give too much away in the future, but I will definitely be bringing you affordable options in the future. But currently this is one of those brands that I'm also showing more interested in, more interest in. So yes, the clarifying wash and the conditioner that goes with that. And probably, I mean, I might get the cream in the future if I'm going to do a full wash day. I would probably need something that I feel like is hydrating or maybe I might just do the mousse and the gel. We'll see. I don't know. In stone, but these definitely have perked my interest. Next is Curls Blueberry Bliss line. Now this is kind of confusing I feel like a little bit. They're blueberry mint oil. It was originally I think meant to be just a scalp oil but now I think that they have well they've reformulated it. You can't get the old one anymore, which I do have the old one, um, but they have reformulated it and it's now, you can apply it apparently to your scalp and to your lengths of your hair and they focus on being a strengthening oil. So I, like I said, I have the old one. I'm actually, I don't even really care for the old one that much, but I will be using it up once I finish one of my other oils. And so I'm not really interested in what I feel like would be a repurchase of that. They also do have some other products that they've added to their Blueberry Bliss line. They have a smoothie, a moisture fix, a custard, a super hold edge control, and a extended hold gel. If I would be interested in any of these, I would say probably ex the extended hold gel or the custard would be something I would potentially look at, but they had to be running an exceptionally good sale for me. Like products $5 and under, and even then I'm not, I, I don't necessarily see myself buying that, but those of all those mentioned, the newer ones, those would be the ones I'm kind of interested in, but not really. Next is For You by Tia, and I recently did a video on those products, and they have added to their their line, they have a soft curl defining mousse. It says a cloud-like foam that adds body and bounce and shine while controlling frizz and even the highest humidity conditions. Let's see if I see anything that I really feel like is going to control the humidity. There's a cross polymer. There is a copolymer. So I see those as being more like holding agents. Okay, I'm just skimming the list, but I don't see any polyquats jumping out at me. And that is what I really look for in a product. If it says it's going to be anti-humidity, I look for a polyquat, or I guess you could say maybe like a silicone. And I don't know my ingredients well enough to identify all the silicones, silicones but polyquat is not jumping out at me. I will say I am just skimming the list. I'm not like carefully reading through each one, but I, since I've already tried this brand, wasn't really impressed. I'm not going to be trying this foam. If, however, I hadn't tried this brand yet for you guys and was still planning on it, I would probably have tried to pick up the foam at the same time. But what's done is done. We're moving on. Okay, we're getting close to the end here, folks. But then now another brand is Aunt Jackie's, or Aunt Jackie's, sorry. Somebody told me to pronounce it Aunt Jackie's. And they have a new braid and twist collection. And this contains, let's see, there's a there's a smooth and swirl edge gel with extra hold firm. There's an oh so strong boosting moisturizer. And then a hold tight braided twist gel with extra firm hold. And then a ready set hold braid setting foam with extra firm hold. So I think these products are focusing on firm hold or extra firm hold. And I'm really not interested in this line particularly. I do have some other Aunt Jackie's products I do plan on trying in the future, but these are probably not ones that will really I'll gravitate towards. I do like the idea of extra firm hold. I even though this is supposed to focus on braids and twists, which I do not do, I think that potentially the gel or the foam could work in my situation. I I could probably make it to work. I don't know. I didn't study the ingredients on these, but like I said, I'm not really having that much interest in them. But if you're a braids and twist type of person, you know, maybe this line will speak to you. The last brand that I have has been a new celebrity release. It's called The Sacred Line, and there is a clarifying shampoo and a hydrating shampoo, a moisturizing deep conditioner, a reconstructive deep conditioner, basically. And then they also have a like a protein type situation. It's a two step with fermented rice and rose protein ritual It's called and then a moisture sealing lotion and also a hair oil. 
I'm personally not interested in this for a couple reasons. One, it is exceptionally pricey in my opinion. And two, I really don't think it's what my hair is looking for. Maybe if anything, like the reconstructing protein mask or you know that two-step system, but I'm not really interested in it for that price. And also, it doesn't have any sealing, um, like finishing styling products in my opinion. It has that lotion, the moisture sealing lotion, but I'm looking for at the very least uh, a foam or mousse and you know a gel would be great but like I said this line price and the products just don't speak to me. All right that is all I have that's quite the list I feel like this video is probably pretty long so I hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you think in the comments down below let me know any of the products that you're looking to try interested in trying or wish that I would try you know I'll take that into consideration I can't make any guarantees but I will definitely take it into consideration but until I see you again in next week or probably just next video since this is probably like a Tuesday release video I'll probably see you again on Friday so until then have a great day bye